Members of Howard County Council sparred over what's best for Ellicott City. Dr. Calvin Ball and Jen Terrassa failed to pass three amendments to the funding bill for the flood mitigation plan. One would have preserved funding for the Route 1 fire station. The goal is to keep the money that we have, if we're talking about saving lives, then keeping the money in the Route 1 fire station as opposed to shifting it over here. Talk to the chief of the fire department, actually the, the, the chief that's left and the chief that came in and, and with members of the fire department and they were unequivocal in saying this will not have an impact on how they deliver service. John Weinstein, who represents Ellicott City, sponsored the three spending bills to partially fund the five-year, $50 million plan, which calls for tearing down some buildings, building culverts, and expanding the stream channel to help prevent future flooding. Council passed two of the bills. This is not just the plan and we're done. We have 18 projects. We've moved six of them fast forward to them to the next five year period. But we have other projects as we're implementing these that can contribute to reducing the water on the street. My concern about the plan is that um, it still leaves four to six feet of water on Main Street. We're demolishing historic buildings and I don't think we've considered some of the other options. Preservation Maryland is also critical of the plan. The executive director says this isn't a done deal. We're going to be releasing an engineering review of our own in the next few days that calls into question some of the decisions that were made. Uh, and we also look forward to working with the new Howard County Council because the folks that were up there on the dais tonight uh, either are moving on to different positions or are not uh, facing re-election. According to the plan, work will get started in November. That includes acquisition and removal of some buildings and construction of the West End Culvert expansion. We're live tonight in Ellicott City. Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News. All right, Vanessa.